Okay, let's look at the keyword let and uh, code blocks. So you'll remember that uh, when you make a variable, you use let. And uh, this is called a, uh, a let binding. Uh, it's also called uh, declaring a variable. And uh, to declare a variable means tell Rust to make me a variable. So that's what that is about. And you'll remember, you know, you have code blocks. They start with uh, they start with this and they end with this. Start with this, end with this. And inside that is where the code lives. So let's uh, let's print this, and of course that will work. But if we put my number inside of this other other block, you know, it starts here and ends here. That means my number starts here. And then after line five, it is gone, is dead. So print line is going to say, you know, I can't find anything, cannot find value my number in this scope. So it does not exist. Now there is a, an interesting thing in Rust where you can Where you can um, let's see how to explain this. I'll just start typing. So let's say okay, we want we want print line to print out this number. So you go let my number equals, and then you open up a code block, and then let's say we want uh, we'll declare something else. Let's second number equals nine, and then at the very end second number. So do you think that'll work? And the answer is yes. And the reason for that is we are saying this is kind of like it's almost the same as a function in a way uh, because you have uh, you know a little a little space for uh, for variables to exist and we call this second number and then we just write it at the end without a semicolon. So this is the return value. So this is effectively saying, let my number equals nine, because that's what this is. And then we have the semicolon at the end here, because you need a semicolon to finish the expression. So this is just a fancy way of saying, let my number equals nine. And the reason why it works is because we're declaring my number outside of here. Then we have these little things inside, inside the block. They don't need to live for longer because my number takes their value and my number lives outside. So that's how that works. And then there's one last, one last, uh, example from the book, which uh, leads into the next chapter. And this is kind of similar. So we have, uh, we have another thing called my number here. And we have let second number equals eight. And then we take uh, second number plus nine. And then, uh, you know, the question is, what will this print out? Um, you would think, you know, it should be 17. But because we're ending this with, uh, with a semicolon, it's actually returning nothing. And what it prints out is, you know, these, uh, these two brackets that mean uh, nothing was returned. And uh, the interesting part that leads into the next video is this. So why did we need to, why did we need to write that instead of, uh, you know, just printing with the two brackets. So we'll learn about that shortly.